testimony we shall consider who testifies to your profitability we shall read from the book of second timothy chapter 4 from verse 9 to 11. do thy diligence to come shortly unto me for demas hath forsaken me having loved this present world and is departed unto thessalonica crescens to galatia titus unto dalmatia only luke is with me Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. Every Christian is supposed to bring a great profit to the church. Why? Jesus Christ, the head of the church, has invested so much in every believer. And when you invest in anybody, what do you expect? You don't expect less than a profit. And that is the glory. You, as a believer, you are fully loaded with divine raw materials which must be processed to yield a great dividend for men and women both in the church and outside the church you are safe to serve three things establishes this number one you as a believer you have divine ability to bless your church they are gifts that god has given unto you two you have a great insight you have directives from god once you are under the leadership of the holy spirit you have a teaching to make a profit for your church and three you have a duty to perform that must bring a profit these three things the divine gift the divine leadership and the divine duty think on them now failure to be a prophet is a devil's calculated curse upon your destiny in case you are basking in your rebellious personal assessment just like king Saul, king Saul went to fight with the Amalekites. he came back though he had a great victory but he disobeyed he was still bragging whereas he has disobeyed samuel was so sorry for him now who is testifying to your profitability samuel cannot testify for king so in that you are doing who is testifying to your profitability looking at the text we read today paul was talking about his disciples talk of luke tickers titus timothy and he has to say demas deserted him that demas has gone out of the faith now there's something i want us to note this morning paul was telling timothy that he should bring back john mark to him because john mark is now profitable to him john mark who had left paul before let me tell you this do you know that john mark was opportuned to be one of the authors of the holy bible he is the one that wrote the book of mark the book that recorded the might of our lord jesus christ isn't that wonderful you can see that every christian today is now benefiting from what god has done through mark the scripture says let your light so shine before me I charge you this morning, what exact thing are you doing? Is it bringing the profit to your church or is it bringing shame to your church? Check yourself and go back and I pray that God will help. Let us pray. Tell it unto God and say, Lord, I want to be a prophet to my church. Help me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, empower me to be a blessing all the days of my life. Help me in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will engrace you, empower you to be a prophet to your church in the name of Jesus. God bless A declaration today, the beginning and the end. Thank you for your presence, your power, your throne, your glory, and the greatness of your work and majesty. As I come to your presence today, empower me not to live for myself. Help me to be holy as you are holy, loving as you are loving, and help me to love your church. Give me a deeper insight on how to be profitable to you and your church. In Jesus' name. According to your word, my path is lighted. I do not walk in darkness. I know the right things to do. And I receive new grace to walk just as you have planned for me from the beginning. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen.